and welcome to this Revit MEP 2015 What's New feature. So first, uh, first thing I'm going to look at is tap duct and pipe tags. This is the improvement to how tags have been used uh, in a system. Previously in 14, um, not all of the information came across, now it does in 15. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, we'll take a look at a 14 system. So here's a little uh, layout that's been specified. And as you can see, there's a colorful legend associated with it. So if I were to use tag by category and tag an individual leg, that's fine. I get the flow rate assigned. But if I were to tick on, pick on the main run, you'll see it says multiple values. So this uh, behavior has been altered in 2015. So let's take a look at 2015. So here is uh, another project, but very similar. And if I, uh, well, first of all, let's place a uh, duck legend down and it'll be associated with flow. So as you can see here, the software knows about the flow assigned to each leg within the system. I can uh, prove that by using the system inspector. And as I hover over each segment, 300 litres per second, 200 litres, 100 uh, litres, and that's made up out of the constituent legs, which are all 50 litres per second. So the software knows about um, the flow rate assigned to each segment. The difference with 2015 is if I now go and place in a tag, I can tag each leg and I can also tag each segment and the appropriate flow rate will be assigned to each segment. So more accurate, uh, more accurate detailing. And let's flip back into our PowerPoint. Second improvement, calculation methods for pressure drop. So once again, let's delve into 15. And if we take a look at mechanical settings for ductwork in this case, you'll now see that we have some additional equations or calculation methods specified. So the default was turbulent flow. There have been two additions, Colebrook equation, which is transitional and turbulent, uh, turbulent and also the Halland, which is also transitional and turbulent. So two new additions have been added, two new calculation methods have been added in 2015. The basic difference between them is um, the default is um, using the turbulent method, i.e. unpredictable or, uh, or rough. Um, so it's taking into calculation unpredictable or, or rough flow. The new additional um, methods, the Colebrook and the Halland, are using turbulent and transitional. So the transitional is um, technically it's the laminar method. So it's smooth and turbulent, i.e. rough flow. So the two additional uh, methods give you uh, turbulent and transitional, so therefore they're calculating the uh, the rough and the smooth flow assigned within that system, therefore providing you greater accuracy. Let's drop back into our PowerPoint. Electrical application programming interface enhancements. So this is um, another uh, improvement. So. You can now create, uh, create wire shapes, add modify wire properties, and remove vertices. So this is um, this is an improvement that possibly isn't directly related to the uh, the normal user. This is an improvement to the API, which will allow uh, developers um, 
to gain access to the electrical aspects of the software. So developers like ourselves here at uh, Address, our professional services, or uh, if you wanted, uh, you could do this yourself if you wished, if you had the relevant skills. And if you want, if you didn't have the relevant skills, if you wanted to, you could um, uh, you could learn those skills on uh, via a tutorial on the uh, Autodesk SDK Software Developers Kit uh, website. So if you were to do, do a Google for my first plugin, you'll find that there are self-paced tutorial guides for um, a smooth transition into the programming world. And this is the uh, the actual uh, URL that you could use. So um, the improvement is that um, the um, programming interface has been updated for the electrical aspect of 2015, giving us all more, uh, more capability. And uh, lastly, we have some additional country specific content, uh, US AWWA content and some um, Japanese MEP electrical content. So that's it. Thanks very much um, and hope this has been used.